Hello family. Welcome back. So, um, we have a teaching and a word from the Lord. I'm going to show you uh, some connect the dots before we get into it. And uh, refer everyone to the playlist. It's restored sight. Upper room, the curse, baptism by fire, the bridegroom in his words, the call of the bride. All that he's doing is in this playlist. And for more information, start at the truth introduction video. Then dig into the playlist. I tell a little bit of the story of how the Lord connected Casey and I back in November to stand as witnesses for what he's doing and to confirm each other and also our brother Jonathan Click who's been teaching on restored sight the curse the twin system of good and evil for many years and um yeah, <laughs> so dig into it and hear what the Lord has for you. So family, we know the bride is being called and the bride has to go through a door. And the Lord had been showing me the number four for a long time because he was going to put my door in front of me. I'm no different. I had I had to go through my door too. So did Casey. We all do. So when I seen last call for number four, I automatically knew that's about the door. Because um, zero isn't a number. But it can be for 40 for judgment or 40 for rapture because the Lord ascended 40 days after he rose. Um, lots of applications, but I'm looking at the last call for, for the door and come back was on it. And you know, the churches in Revelation, six of them, the Lord has issue with and he's calling them back to their first love. So come back is symbolic for that. So I knew I needed to look this up to see if there was more to it. And from right to left, 246, it's, it's chains. And I was sharing yesterday about how America is going to be put in chains very soon. When, when the eagle falls, when Babylon falls for the beast kingdom to rise. And you know, I, I said that America is behind much of the evil in this world and that is so true but I mean uh, Satan is running Russia too you know there's evil going on by many le leaders of this world it's not just America but I'm just saying when things happen in America okay it's America doing it it's false flag and Actually, I was talking to the Lord about that. I was like, I get what it is now. They do these events for sacrifice to Mystery Babylon, the entity, right? And Satan, so that they can continue doing more evil down the road. That, that's part of it. It's sacrificial magic when they take out thousands at one time and this is going to be actually millions when it happens in Manhattan just a side note there family it's so evil but mystery Babylon and Satan are having a battle in the spiritual realm the Lord showed us this and it's about to play out in the physical between Russia and America with the big nuclear war But anyway, last call for the door for the bride. 
and chains. But 642 from left to right is to be bereaved. Everyone knows what bereaved means. Mourning, right? You're in mourning. You're bereaved. So look here. Today, Casey sends this. His warning email. And she meant to put Hebrew 57. And the definition is mourning. One who sorrows. And it popped up at 153 for the 153 fish. So that was confirmation for me. And then connect it to the bereaved. You see how the Lord shows both of us the same things in different ways. And this is what she had sent. For, this is how she got the 57. Was the raven from yesterday. The Lord dropped the raven in her feed for mourning one who sorrows. Then shortly after that, this was in mind of a snowstorm as well. And you see the snow behind the raven. And when you look above it, it says dangerous snowstorm in San Diego. And we know that the quakes are coming to California and parts of Nevada. To be bereaved, mourning, sorrow. And I see right after that, the catastrophic blizzard. From 1977. So, connect the dots, family. That's, that's what this is about. The Lord is showing us in every way possible uh, that He's speaking to us. And this is how we see with our spiritual sight. He also dropped more owls in my feed. And I absolutely knew this was from him because it's connected to prayers that I have prayed. The white owl, the rainbow owl. I've actually prayed to the Lord to have white owls and rainbow colored animals in heaven and I absolutely have to have that a rainbow owl and that white one <laughs> I was like these are my gifts these will be waiting for me in heaven you see I have prayed prayers about this and when I seen that I was like oh my goodness thank you Jesus thank you Abba so I looked up the 1556 and it means vindicated or vindicate and protect in the Greek. And in the Hebrew, to roll away the stone, like for the resurrection of Christ. Our resurrection, our glorification, connect the dots. Our vindication, our protection, all good connotations. So, you know, that's not just for me, it's for all of us. But I just show you how I see and how I know when the Lord puts things in front of me that are from Him. So family, He put this in today too for confirmation. You know, in a past word, the Lord said, Jonathan Click is His servant that he is using to test his children. And Jonathan is a big test. And what he's doing on this channel is as well. And it had the left blue and the right red for the twin system of good and evil. You are being tested. God is trying to reach you urgently with this test. Don't skip this, <laughs> right? Now, I'm not recommending go and watch this video because it says powerful motivation video, okay? What I'm saying is through my spiritual eyes, the Lord's given me a message of confirmation, okay? 
So I look up 2240 and it means I have come, I have arrived. And remember the Lord sent the text message to my daughter's phone that said, I have arrived. And he had because he was bringing his teachings and his words and connecting Casey and I to do all that, all that he's doing and bring the baptism by fire and call everyone to the upper room to be in the Philadelphia church, to be the bride, to step through their door, to have their sight restored, to break the curse completely and father weigh them out and put them on the rock. This is the test. It's the last cause, the last chance. And uh, I just really, really hope people take it to the Lord and stop turning deaf ears. Now, I'm going to put the link for this in the box. He put this in my feed. I had never heard of this channel. It had the 11 and 11, 11 on it for the Lord's signpost. And the, the judgment connections to that because America broke the covenant with God that was signed on 11-11. Forgive the noise. And it also had 888 on it. Not perfectly in order, but it's there. And in Gematria, that is for Jesus. So I listened to this word and everything in it is exactly what he's been saying here on this channel. So, I recommend everyone listen to it, and I'll put the link in there for you. Okay, he's been using many different channels to get the same message across. To confirm what he's teaching here, his truth of this curse and how it's got to be broken... The Lord cannot be unequally yoked and have any part with darkness. He can't make covenant with darkness. And then last night, this notification pops up with the 858, which means to come. And it has talk, it's talking about Chinese jet. Okay, so it's more confirmation about events in the war that's coming and Casey being underneath it with the words fleeting hours confirms it more and if you didn't get to see her sundial video go to yesterday's video I put it in the comments the link to it okay so you can see what was all on the wheel within a wheel time within a time video that the Lord wanted y'all to see. It had fleeting hours written on it. Time is up. Time is up. One last thing before we go into the word. I have been seeing 112 for a long time. So I go because I was seeing it last night again and I was like the godless, the ungodly, without God. And Ephesians 2, 1, 2 was under this one. And he was showing it to me yesterday through the 526 number, I think it was. So the same thing led me to wheel within a wheel, time within time, Ezekiel's wheel 212 and Manhattan again without God godless the ungodly you know he shows us in so many ways yeah it was it was 526 to alienate and estrange which is what America's done to God and it had the Ephesians 212 under it Amazing, isn't it? One last thing. Echo. Echo confirmation. My cat. Rapture cat. Echo. Ricky's video. 
recent events you need to know about. And he's talking about events going on in the world. And at the 22 minute, 20 second mark, he says the word echo. 22. And remember, echo was 2022 when I was praying, asking the Lord. Well, I said, I was joking with the Lord. I said, if that cat cuddles with me, I'll know you're coming this year, 2022. And it still is 2022. But he did come. He may not have came in the rapture yet, and he still could. But he did come, and I just wanted to share that. Exactly at the 22 mark, Ricky says, echoed. Let's see again, family. This word is called to rest with a W. <laughs> 22523, 1049 AM. I write your words, Lord Jesus, through Sister Casey. Page one. My loves, I bring you to Psalm 146, 9. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He reliveth the fatherless, or re, yeah, reliveth the fatherless and widow, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. I seek for all my sheep to fully acknowledge the truth. I am truth. Wickedness is always upside down. Hebrew 5 7 9 1. To rest, pervert, turn upside down. To rest, twisted, bow self, crooked, upside down. Turn all you were taught by perverse teachers of the word completely upside down. Now when you hear and see the paradox, now you are restored. My bride, go to Ecclesiastes 1.15. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. Crooked. I have always spoken this truth to you, the curse of Lucifer and the fall of Satan, eternally made crooked, put in opposition, the soul and spirit. Anyone in the flock that remains in such a condition cannot be numbered as a bride. It's in the scriptures. Truth. Go to Job 8.3. Doth God pervert judgment, or doth the Almighty pervert justice? I had Casey fetch more images upside down. Here's your images, family. Upside down, hanging on a tree, a rope, on a limb, the adversary glamorizes his condition. That sneaky snake seeks for his curse to be appealing to that left eye. He promotes the lie of the reversed condition, somehow being equal to joy or fun. So, so wicked. I sent my servants, Shelly and Casey, silly upside down sloths. I bring more images to further shine light. Page two, to rest. 
Sloths are a curious creature, are they not? Yes, and I think they're cute. <laughs> I love all the creatures. Your adversary seeks to distort the truth and fictionalize it. So young minds are led astray, making the lie cute. So, so wicked. Yeah. Now look at the image, optical illusion of a double-faced man. Okay, family, you look at it this way and then turn the phone, turn your phone upside down and look at it the other way. Okay, no illusion there. It's all truth. A depiction of an unconverted unsanctified child of God I put upside down and right side up elementary picture that is promoted to young minds upside down and right side up I also set before you a quote of Billy Sunday. The world is wrong side up. The world is wrong side up. It needs to be turned upside down in order to be right side up. and more right side up images to shine light upon the state of humanity's soul and spirits house divided i show the one two three tree for shelley one two three tree Upside down tree, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, and if you look, it says your eyes see upside down and right side up. It is my favorite confirmation number to give her. Shelly always reverses things. Her sight is fully restored. So wonderful. Thank you, Lord. I'm so grateful. So glorious. I bring you new image, or sorry, I bring you new age images of trees and double mindedness. Here are the trees. Here are the double-mindedness. It's in everything, isn't it, family? The curse. Go to 2 Timothy 2.25 now. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth they oppose themselves a house divided and double-minded twin good and evil left and right up and down the curse my bride i taught you that to receive the full understanding of restored sight, you must come to me in meekness. Do you see another paradox of truth in this scripture, my loves? Yes, Lord. My bride has fulfilled this truth. Promise. My bride has fulfilled this truth. Promise. 
It swells joy in Father. He is pleased to place his restored ones on the rock. Much celebration in heaven for each victory. Yeah, I was thanking him for that. Now, looking closer at 2 Timothy 2.25, there are those that oppose themselves. They are set opposite. Left, down, right, up. Twisted to rest. Here's Greek 4.75. Oppose themselves to set oneself opposite. Here's Greek 5087. Properly in a passive or horizontal posture, and thus different, which properly denotes an upright and active position. A side down up. Okay, now look at Greek 5087. We just did. This strong definition fully discloses the paradox of the soul and spirit. Greek 473. Opposite, that is, instead or because of. Contrast. Go now to Matthew 5.38. Ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for for a tooth. Does it not once again reveal the truth of the mystery of restored sight? It is imperative that my sheep fully grasp this revelation. As I was imparting this teaching, Casey began reflecting upon limbo. Casey learned of this fiction in her religious upbringing. We looked it up together. Go to Galatians 3.13. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Here is the limbo definition. A place or state of restraint or confinement. A place or state of neglect or oblivion. An abode of souls that are according to Roman Catholic theology barred from heaven because of not having received Christian baptism. I present this scripture lastly to connect all of the precepts presented here. Casey prays as she scribes often. As she was writing, I hear a petition. She very much wants me to elaborate on the lie sold by the Vatican of limbo. There is no such place in the spiritual realm. I know I am truth. There are two very certain places. Y'all know what those are, right? Page 4. I ask you to recall Revelation 1, 18, 11 and 8, fingerprint of God. <laughs> I 
I am he that liveth and was dead, and, behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Amen. Many things said by men are false. My bride has fully grasped this truth. It is a time of transition on earth and in heaven. My bride will be by my side to close out grace and usher in the new order of things ordained by the Father. Your adversary wishes to usher in his perverted new world order on earth, and for a time it will be fulfilled. My bride is ready to stand through it all. Go boldly among your sisters and brothers with this glorious truth. Do not shrink at their resistance. You are on the rock. No harm will ever come nigh to thee. My bride, I seek that you stay completely focused in the word. Study out the deeper meanings imparted. Bring your concerns to me. Father delights in his questioning great owls. It greatly pleases him. Call upon the power of my sanctified blood daily. Nothing else will bind agents of your adversary. Edify one another. Puzzle out my messages with one another. Be of good courage, my loves. I will visit soon your liberator, Jesus Christ, living son of the almighty living God. Stop time, 12.01. And there's that 1, 1, and 2 again. Family, I want to come back to page 1. And touch on this for a minute. Turn all you were taught by perverse teachers of the word completely upside down. Family, the Lord was just warning about the Nicolaitans a couple of teachings ago. And this is who they are. They've just been rebranded, okay, as once saved, always saved. Now, this is how deception works, and this is what the enemy has done. And I can testify to this, because this was where I was, okay? And I know why I was there. And I'm going to explain it. Their doctrine is you believe the gospel and you're saved, sealed, and sanctified. You believe the gospel and you're sealed with the seal of God. Okay, and it's by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. This is what the enemy did. He came up with a new branding for the Nicolaitan doctrine. Freedom in Christ granted them a blank check to sin. Now, I never believed you have a blank check to sin. I always thought everyone was misunderstanding what once saved, always saved meant. I fell for this because I was searching and searching and searching. And it all pointed to Jesus. Jesus. 
Every bit of it points to Jesus. That's what the enemy did. He said, it's all Jesus. And if you add one other thing to your walk, then, then you're making yourself the Savior, you see. Walking worthy, you can't walk worthy because then you're making yourself the Savior if you add works, right? No one can add anything to anything at all, including sanctification. Because if you do that, you're taken away from Christ. It's Christ alone, right? And that made perfect sense to me because it pointed to Jesus. And that's what the enemy did. He, he found a way to twist it so bad that he could rebrand this and so many would fall for it. Whom also, after that you believed, you were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. You're sealed with the promise of, a whole, of the Holy Spirit. It's a promise. It's not the seal of God as it's taught. It's taught that it's the seal of God. It's not the seal of God. It's the seal of the Holy Spirit of promise. The promise of the Holy Spirit. They don't believe in the gifts of the Spirit, like prophesying, dreams, visions. They don't believe you can hear from God, that you only turn to the Scriptures for all your understanding, and anything other than that is garbage, right? They believe the Jews are the only ones that get gifts from God like words of knowledge, the prophesying, the dreams, the tongues, all of it. It's not for the church is what they teach. So how can they walk in the Spirit when they don't have any understanding of what it even means? That's why they don't know anything about restored sight. But they're not the only ones. No one knows about restored sight. Like I said, everyone's overlooked it, but the scriptures are unsealed now, and the Lord is teaching the truth. So justification, believing the gospel, yes, you're justified, but escaping hell is all you get, right? If you walk in the flesh and not after the Spirit, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? It's right here. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. The sanctified. And justified. Do you see? Both. You got to be both. For this ye know that no whoremonger nor unclean person. What is unclean? A house divided. Double minded. Still 
caught in the twin of good and evil. That's unclean. Nor covetous, who is an adulterer. Love your God with all your heart. The Lord has been given so many warnings to the church to repent for idolatry. Has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God? Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. What have we been learning? Everyone's wise in their own eyes. The Lord's been teaching us that none of us have known anything. We just thought we did. All of us. He's been pulling all of us out of different false doctrines and teachers. Showing us the truth. For the wisdom of this world is full in foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. That thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Without spot and unrebukable. Sorry. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. The meek and the humble heart. You can't break the curse with pride still in the heart. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called. Called. And hast professed a good profession. Before many witnesses. Many witnesses, the courts of heaven, everything's done by witnesses. That he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. The Lord hates the doctrine of the Nicolaitans. Hates it. They're deceived. And they've turned it into an idol. The Lord brought me out of it. He proved it to me. Because I sought Him with a meek and a humble heart. And asked him. And he showed me the truth. The pride is preventing them from asking. Their, their tradition of their religion. Tradition. 666. The Greek. Tradition. False doctrine, false teachers. It's Nicolation, and the Lord hates it. There's only one bride, and not everyone is even called to be her because they weren't walking worthy to start with. If you're here, you're being called. You have to go through the door.
This will be in the description box for everyone to listen. Please listen to it more than once. Time is up. It's the last chance. That's all I have, family. I love you guys. God bless you and talk soon.